after having been with Jesus through his suffering and his death. That mysterious moment when the tomb is empty and we celebrate it as Christ is risen is all about hope. The tomb is empty. We interpret that as God has done the work of raising his son Jesus, even from death. And if that doesn't bring hope, I don't know what does. I immediately reached out uh, to Father Tom Fanta over at St. Dominic's, and he was also offering an IC RCIA class, and so I asked him if I could join. And by the end, was sure that I wanted to convert, that I wanted and have a really strong relationship with Christ. The, the other piece about this was, was the fact that someone needed to stand up for you. And I went to Jim Brennan, and I would love for you to do that. I'm getting teary-eyed, and I would love um, for you to do that for me. And he said yes. It felt like home. It felt like... Um, this was a place where my faith was really going to grow in a way, um, and I owned it. You know, just uh, as I spoke about my um, the experience with my kids both being in the NICU, um, I'm just I'm just grateful for the life that I got, and I know God plays a huge role in it. Like again, like some of it's just so great, you just got to let go and just rely on your faith because it's um it's so big man if you try and hold it all in yourself like you'll you, you'll go nuts you, you know like we find out why that there are chaplains that work in the hospitals you know? you know we all experience stuff that's just so much greater than, than what we can understand as people and um when i go through those issues you know i just kind of let go and give it to god and it does i just know everything's going to work out the way it's supposed to i started going to the easter vigil every year because of its beauty it is long, but it's filled with ritual and pomp and circumstance. I mean, you pull out all the stops and, and it's unlike any other mass. You've got beautiful music and the Psalms in between all the readings and there's a lot of readings, but it's telling the story. I make all things new. No, it's late at night, it's 11 p.m. or wherever you are, the church lights are out or it's dark outside and then to have like this light emerge. I think that symbolism of candlelight, of, of a fire, of whatever it might be, um, is really, really powerful. Um, and I think is a great reminder that like even when we feel hopeless, like there is something cutting through the darkness, that God is continually like knocking on the door, busting down the door, whatever it needs to be, to remind us that like God just wants to love us. Like God just wants to be friends with us. Ultimately it's a time where you can you can really reflect and I found myself you know sitting listening to the readings. Um, and I was just like very overcome by like the presence of God in the space and it's late at night, uh, it's very quiet, the candles, uh, it's a very like powerful and spiritual time of reflection um, and sort of just understanding that the, the coming greatness of Christ's resurrection in those uh, next couple hours and so um, it's very powerful uh, and I, I definitely found uh, God present in that Eucharist. So. Yeah, I mean, I think Christianity is really a religion of hope, and I think for kids, for students, that there's always hope. There's always, you know, never to fall into despair. Um, you know, there's that great quote from the movie The Shawshank Redemption that hope is a good thing, maybe the best of things, and no good thing ever dies. Um, and that's something I think I hope that the kids take from, from that week.